Hey there, it's review time yet again. I have an unusual food treat called the Juicy Drop Taffy. And in this package, it seems that we're going to find a syringe. All right, but first let me mention here in the background of the treat, as a part of our packaging notes, we have to evaluate everything closely. So we've got some strange things here. This looks like some cherries. Here we have maybe a star. This, I believe, is a can of spray paint and some dice being rolled. So who are they marketing this to? Hmm. You can be the judge. I think that's probably an eight ball. Yes, it is. And a tire squealing. Well, I don't know if I'm the target market, but uh, it says here that we're going to be squeezing it and then chewing it. So the mechanism of enjoying this treat, I believe I have to use this syringe to spray this goop onto this piece of taffy and eat it all together. But in typical fashion, I'm going to try everything independently and then all together. This is made by the Bazooka candy brand um, and also Tops. So I guess there's some type of a corporate combo going on between the uh, sports cards people and the folks over at Bazooka. Well, um, we've got just red and yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow on the package. I don't really like it too much. That's enough for packaging notes. Let's see here. I'm decked down on my own red and yellow, black and yellow. Oh, <laughs> there's a notch. They were thoughtful enough to include a notch. All right, <clears throat> let's see here. What do we have? First of all, our ink pen syringe. It does have the habit of an ink pen, doesn't it? A little sticky on there. Yeah. So in the manufacturing process, they weren't careful to keep it clean to the touch. A little tacky there. A little hint of what's in store for us. Um, I'm going to look for the instructions, actually, because this is a little overwhelming. Ah, individually packaged taffy treats, or juicy drops, I should say. Even a little tribal design going on. I'm going to go on record here and express my dissatisfaction with this packaging. I don't like it at all. So anyway, knockout punch is the flavor we're going to be having. And this bag, it's just filled with knockout punch squares. There they are. <clears throat> we don't have an instructional manual, so... Um, just from referring to the front cover, I can figure this out. Uh, an ambitious treat, I have to say. All right, the taffy, it feels pretty supple in there. So um, I guess it's not been on the shelf for too long. Very, very soft. I'm kind of looking forward to this taffy. Ah, some sour gel. So what do we have? Yep, that's the applicator tip. Yeah, we're ready. Uh, this is this is unique. This is unique among candies, and I'm I'm excited about it. It's got a definite Halloween uh, flair in the no nose. I might have just spritzed myself with some sour gel just there. Ooh, also kind of a note of walnut. <laughs> Unusual. Hmm. Yeah, that one's kind of out of left field. So, it's got to be their souring agent. And it's, it's walnut, um... Uh, fruit or the balls, the green balls that the walnuts encased in. Often when I was a child, my dad would 
drive around and harvest walnuts that were laying on the ground that had fallen off of trees on the roadside and then he would bring them back home, spread them all over the um, driveway and then drive over them a couple of times. And then after a day of drying in the sun they were ready to be enjoyed. I'd love to have a good walnut tree one day and do my own harvesting. Alright, well now that I've got this in my hand I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a sample taste and see how the souring agent tastes. Hmm. Whoa. This is a weird one. It feels as if my entire mouth became a chamber. Like the whole pH balance in my mouth just changed. Like the flavor was a miasma in there. Very strange. Um, the sourness came later. The flavor profile is kind of a conventional um, red fruit punch. That's way in the background. There was this harrowing kind of a sensation going on. Let's try it one more time. Actually, I'm going to clear my palate. Good luck with that, right? My palate is still still reeling. It's like um oof, strange. It, it's just it it's it's unusual. Here, let's go for it one more time. Yeah. A strange puckering kind of a sensation, um, which isn't uncommon, of course, in the sour treats I've reviewed. But the way that it, uh, in in the way that it fills the mouth cavity with this almost like a mist-like, um, uh, it it just filled my mouth cavity really in a strange way. All right. Okay. Now the taffy. Ooh, this one actually does smell quite good. Very fruity and clean aroma. Mm-hmm. Uh, almost... Mm, I was getting the sensation of something like um, eggs, uh, something like a... Re like a Like the carrier taffy has a almost like a home style baked good kind of a confectionery um, savoriness a little bit in there lurking. Uh, and an initial whiff gave me a clean, very uh, attractive, fruity aroma. Let's go ahead with a little taste. Oh, yeah. Not, I mean, it wasn't, it's not. Mm, my teeth easily glid through it. It's unlike, I believe, any taffy I've had. I guess I don't eat that much taffy. When the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie came out, I was very young. It was the... Um, there was a tie-in promotional product called Retro Mutagen Ooze based on the TV show. At the movie theater, I enjoyed some, and it was a green taffy. And I remember that more than the movie. That product tie-in. I hope it was lime-flavored, and I hope I liked it. All right, well, what I was expecting was to bite in and just see, you know, like, stretch the taffy, creating this long stretch. That didn't happen. My teeth easily slid through it. You can just cleanly bite them off. It's not sticking to my chops. That is very pleasant. The risk, of course, is that I was going to get like hard taffy that feels like your teeth are being pulled out of their sockets. But no. The flavor, there's a little bit of grittiness in there. I'm not sure if that's intended. 
a clean flavor, a really overall pleasant flavor of red fruits. Very well done so far and I'm waiting, just waiting to get my mouth coated with this <laughs> souring agent at the same time. Alright, well they also had blue raspberry so if there's any product that I would give a try of their blue raspberry variety it would be this. I generally hate blue raspberry. It's, I think, that combined with banana, uh, well, those two flavors are my least favorite candy flavors. The artificiality of it, it just, it's, it's always a huge disappointment. But there's a blue raspberry, juicy drop taffy out there. And with disgust, I moved it off to the side to get a hold of this um, punch flavor. But if I see it again, I might buy it, give it a try. All right, let me pull my pen out of my pocket because I've got some writing to do. All right, I love each and every one of you, so I'm going to draw a little heart to indicate my love for everyone out there who is a viewer of mine, my viewership, providing me so much joy. I'm going to give everybody a little hug. Ah, there we go. And I'm going to draw a heart, drawing a heart just for you, right on this taffy. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, the color combo is, is beautiful. The gel is just catching the light. It's a beautiful glistening look. On top of the pinkish, um, almost a salmon, salmon kind of a pink, on the taffy itself. Ah, <sighs> well, here's the heart I drew for you. Everyone, can you see that? There it is. My heart beats. For my viewership, let's go ahead. Oh yeah. Well, everyone, I thought I wasn't going to like this. I thought I could do an entertaining review just because of the novelty of it. It certainly is a novelty product. I picked it up at a Walgreens and it was already on clearance. I'm not sure how much it was, like less than $2. It is a type of product you wouldn't give a try to because, I mean, it screams of low quality, um, you know, just a company, in this case, a combined two companies, flailing in every direction to try to find something that's going to capture a niche in the market, increase their bottom line. But, like, This was way, way better than I thought. Dare to drop, everybody. Dare to drop. I'm going to have even one more with a stronger drop from my flavor dropper syringe. What a surprise. Now, now I have to decide what to draw on here. Let's see. Maybe a little floral motif. All right. Okay. I want to get lots of the souring agent this time to get the full experience. Okay. I drew a little flower for you. There you go. Probably doesn't look like much of a flower. Hmm. And it seems that I do have lots of souring agent left. All right. I'm going to just cake it on there. We're going to get the full experience of sour and sweet together. Ready?
Mm. Yeah. This gel pen, it's another one of those cases of the flavor being so intense and evocative. It tastes like uh, hookah smoke. Even the mouthfeel, as I, like I was mentioning earlier, talking about it being like a miasma or a mist, it's got a pronounced smokiness. That always excites me. It's happened on a couple of reviews. Always comes out of the blue. Hmm. Awesome. Well, what I'm going to try to do with this final bite is um, maybe, yeah, here, I'll, I'll kind of fold it up to encase that souring agent inside the sweetness to really see if I can um, get a little bit more of a combo. I think that you should um, stay on the, you know, don't be too heavy handed on your dripping or your drawing. Because it seems like that first taste was best with just a couple of timid drops on the taffy. Yep. Nope. We're gonna see if we can get kind of a combo. All right, I want you to that. Wow. Yeah, when you chew it fast, it combines in a very space-age way. Really strange. Um, a little overly sweet. There is some graininess in that taffy. And, um... If they scaled back the intense sugars, they would have hit it out of the park. So, Juicy Drop Taffy, an unexpected gem in the form of the sour gel pen and those immaculate tasty little taffies.